What's going on everybody? Today is the 19th, it's President's Day um, of February. So decided to just get out and go for a nice hike. Don't have any plans, just going to get out and enjoy enjoy nature. Um, it was a rough week last week at work, so just wanted to go out and relax. And No better way to do it than uh, getting out on the trail, getting out in the woods, and just enjoying, uh, just enjoying the peaceful nature. So we'll bring you along. Um, a few topics to talk about today, but thanks for tuning in. There's a lot of deer sign on this trail. I honestly never, I mean look at, a couple beds, it's tore up, tracks all, I don't really walk this way too much. Um, there's a lot of deer sign. Maybe future place we look at to hunt. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. Love this walk though, it is right next to the creek. Probably my favorite trail out of this whole property just to walk and enjoy. I needed this, so after that long week, I've um, been trying to read a lot more too. That's that's relaxing. I'm um, doing a couple different kinds of readings. Um, been reading just for fun. Well, what I've been reading for fun is a lot of Stephen Ranella. i um, just figured, finished his book American Buffalo. Great book, by the way. If you ever need any good reading, I suggest it. Just went to the store and picked up his uh, Meat Eater book. Oh, and I'm down. All right. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. I made it up that little hill. It's slick. So anyways, just picked up his Meat Eater book. Um, going to start reading that. That's what I'm kind of reading at night, just to kind of wind down and, you know, something I enjoy. Um, I'm also doing a lot of reading for business, trying to make myself better as a businessman um, and just better personally. I've been reading a lot of Dave Ramsey. I've been doing a lot of audible books for that. Just on the way to work in the morning, um, when I'm getting ready instead of watching TV. So, I'm doing a lot of that. Uh, what kind of books do you guys like to read? Um, yeah, just comment below what you guys like. I might check them out. Last time walking through this area, there was huge deer sign, big tracks, and I kind of stepped off the trail, gonna look for a little sheds. Here's exactly why. See that tree? That tree's tore up. There's some trees over in this little cluster. Well, you can't see them. There's lots of trees here tore up by a buck. So there's something big living back here. So I'm just going to walk around and see if I can't. Yeah, I see some tracks. Let's see if I can't find a shed. That'd be cool. I only found one, set of sh uh, one shed out here before. And that was just a little guy. So it'd be nice to find something a little bit bigger. Nothing. Oh, lots of sign. Hold on. Ugh. It's thick, dude. It's like super thick. I see why a buck would live back here. But, uh... Yeah, it's so thick. I can't get but 20 yards off the trail. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure the trail is. Thankfully, it's snowy and I can follow my tracks back. I didn't think I walked this far in. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's going to be worth hanging a trail camera up here this year. Finally got one for Christmas. Just up my parents now just to see how it's working. But So, yeah putting one up here this year so it just started raining we're actually supposed to get like two to three inches of rain by tomorrow 
so all this snow is going to be gone away. It's going to warm up to 60. It's supposed to hit 50 as a high today, but whatever. I'm out here enjoying it. If I get rained on, I get rained on. Probably start heading back if it gets too cold. But uh, yeah, for now, it's not too bad. A little chilly. Hands are a little bit cold, but it's Michigan. All right, I'm tired. I came over to this other spot to look for deer sign, and I found beaver sign. And I know there's beaver around here. I've never really seen too much sign, but I just thought this was impressive. Check this out. giant tree just gnawing away all kinds of trees tore down up here from beavers and yeah I just thought that was really cool So, actually thinking, um, we got some big things coming for this channel. Um, first one's going to be uh, going to do some kind of shooting event. Wait until it warms up a little bit because, you know, lots of guns and cold fingers don't mix the greatest. Um, but yeah, going to do a lot of comparison. That's going to be a two-part episode. I'm going to compare handguns to handguns and then long rifles um, to long rifles. So that should be coming up in the next few months. Um, also going down... Uh, end of March, early April, I'm going to do some bow fishing down in Kentucky, so that'll be good. I'll bring you along for that, and then um, you won't see this for a while, but we're going to be working on it. We're going to do a mini-series. Um, it's going to follow myself and Zach as we train, scout, um, and just try to become better hunters. So that's going to be, you know, as many parts as it is. One episode will probably be like training and our training regiment, following us on that. Another one might be scouting, uh, things like that. If you can think of anything that might, you know, be of use to you guys, uh, might be interested in seeing, um, comment down below because we're still working the plans for that. So um, it is starting to rain a little bit, like I said. So I am going to end the video here um, and then just enjoy the rest of my hike. And, uh, not how sure we're going to go. Um, I wanted to do about four or five miles, but the trail's still pretty, pretty snowy, makes it a little tougher. So. We're just going to go till I'm tired, and then we'll turn around and go back. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, uh, subscribe for more, like the video, and uh, thanks for watching Hike Up Michigan.